Hey guys, this is Jazz. I'm gonna get her to help me show you guys how to do progressive push-ups to get you to your first push-up. Get excited. The push-up works on two main muscles, the pec major and some of your triceps, depending on how you place your hands. We will start off with the easiest form of push-up and move on to the harder forms of push-ups towards the end of the video. Let's start off with the wall push-up. The closer you are to the wall, the easier it will be. If you step away from the wall, the harder the push-up will be. This is because you change the angle of the push-up. Just place your hands on the wall and control yourself to go towards the wall. Once your chest is almost touching the wall, push yourself away from the wall, squeezing your chest muscles and your tricep, extending your arms all the way. A common mistake people do when they do push-ups is flaring their elbows outwards. This is a compromising position for your shoulders and it can cause rotator cuff injuries or other shoulder injuries. So this is best to be avoided. Do about 10 to 15 repetitions, give yourself a break and do three sets. The bench or tabletop push-up. Once again, you are now changing the angle of your push-up, so making it a little bit harder by adding your own body weight into the exercise. Lower yourself in a controlled manner towards the tabletop and when your sternum is almost touching the tabletop, push away, contracting your chest muscles and extending your arms, contracting your tricep muscles. A common mistake Jazz mentioned is that a lot of people don't activate their core during this exercise, causing a dip in their hips forward, and this will load their lower back, causing a lot of pain in the lower back. So try to activate your core and don't let your hips swing forward every time you do a push-up. A lot of people do this swing is because the exercise is too hard for them and they're trying to gather momentum. For this exercise, I just want you to do about 10 repetitions to 15 repetitions and then do 3 sets. This is a chair or stool push-up. We'll be lowering ourselves in a different angle, therefore changing the difficulty of this exercise, adding more body weight onto the push-up. Place two chairs in front of you and place your hands at chest level. Lower yourselves in a controlled manner so that your sternum almost touches the chairs. This counts as one repetition. Once you've lowered yourself so your hands are beside you, push away, squeezing your chest muscles and contracting your triceps. Extend your arms all the way out. This counts as one repetition. Do about 10 to 15 repetitions for three sets. We placed the chairs against the wall here because we didn't want the chairs to slide away due to the incredible strength gains we were experiencing at the time. Finally, we reached a floor push-up. Let's start on our knees first before we move on to a full push-up. This will reduce the difficulty compared to a full push-up. Just bend your knees and put them together. Now don't bring them too close to your chest or else your bum will stick up in the air and that will look funny. I highly recommend having a soft mat or something soft to have your wrist against when you do the floor push-up for the first time. This will reduce the stress and strain on your wrist so you don't get sore wrists. Remember, we're also building joint strength in every single exercise we do. Just place your hands beside you and make sure your elbows don't flare out too much. Lower yourself in a controlled manner towards the floor and once your chest is almost touching the floor, push away from the floor, contracting the chest muscles and your triceps and extend your arms all the way. Do this for 10 to 15 repetitions, three sets. And of course, once you're ready and you've gained all that strength, let's do a full floor push-up. All you have to do is have your legs straight out and your feet together. And if you find that the feet together is too hard, you can always open up your legs and that will increase the leverages on your behalf to be, allow the exercise to be easier. Congratulations, we're finally at the floor push-up. I really recommend that you start on a soft surface first. You can just use a soft yoga mat or a soft training mat. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get them. If you've never done a push-up movement before, I highly recommend that you start off with resistance band exercises. You can get these bands and all types of resistance levels, from light to heavy. This is the easiest way to gain the strength necessary to do a push-up movement. I'll place the link in the description box below on where to get these. These bands are quite versatile, so you can wrap them around a pole behind you or a rail, just like what Jazz did. Grab hold of these bands so the band is on the outside of your hands and slightly move forward so there's tension in the band already. Place your hands next to your body and then push your hands away from your body. Start off having your hands next to your body with the tension in the band and then push the bands away from you. You'll find the bands trying to pull your arms back. This will allow you to have some resistance against your exercise to allow you to build some strength in your chest and tricep muscles so you can move on onto the next exercise. Do about 10 to 15 repetitions, three to four sets. Guys, if you're interested in the tools that we used in this video, I'll put the link down below in the description box. And if you want to see more of Jazz, let her know on her Instagram account. Remember to check out my ring push-up video or beginner chest workout on the rings. And remember to support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, 
and comment below. See you guys in the next one.